in reflection, I've, I'm very fortunate to have spent the time that I did with Coach Garrett. Um, whether he's here next year or somewhere else next year, um, the group of men that, that he's going to be in front of will be better men and better players because of it. In any way, does it feel like a permanent goodbye with Coach Garrett? Does he get that sense at all? And I don't think he has any idea what's going on. Uh, I don't think I have any idea what's going on. Um, so in a lot of these situations, it's it's temporary-ish, you know. Uh, you say goodbye and, and hope for the best in the future, and, and you try and stay um, positive about a, a future connection um, if you're not together um, in the in the next adjacent year. I think we just need to, to work better on being together and, and playing together. Uh, there was a lot of times this year when the run game didn't complement the pass game, and the pass game didn't complement the run game, and the offense didn't complement the defense, or the defense didn't complement the offense, or special teams. It just situationally, we, we weren't effective. And, uh, you know, I think that shows up in, in the way that the games turned out. I mean, Coach Garrett has stuck with me there um, some really, really tough times, you know, where I've missed a lot of time. You know, the guy who inspired me and really made me better football player than I thought I could be. So, from my standpoint, an unbelievable football coach, an unbelievable guy, a guy that I love. How far away is this team from not only making the playoffs but doing something more than just making the playoffs? Well, I, I would, I would say I think we're closer, but at the same point, we, you know, we were so up and down this year, and we didn't show that. And I think we have a lot of great football players, but until we, you know. Get, to get back to where we're winning game in and game out, we're more consistent. Uh, we can't really talk. If there's a change that needs to happen, it needs to be with players and making sure we're better and we live and make sure we need to have the owner single you out as one of three people who thinks is part of that core. I think it's good. Um, like I said, I, I want to be here. I love it here. You know, I love everything um, about this area, this team. Place, like I said before, the place I live. It's just um, I don't have I don't feel like I have anything to complain about in this situation. So, um, yeah. And you mentioned a little bit about when you have success, how you can lose that focus. But do you have any more clarity today now that the season's over on where you feel like that focus went? Because you probably had seasons in the past where you had that success. Uh, I don't know. Um, 